In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can record your voice using Adobe Audition and how you can clean that up and improve it. We're gonna go from this voiceover to this voiceover. And to start recording, all you gotta do is click this red button and give it a name. Click OK. If for whatever reason it doesn't start immediately recording your voice, it's probably because your hardware isn't set up right. Hover over here to where it says Adobe Audition, click Preferences, and Audio Hardware. And I can see my default input currently is my computer, but I wanna use my Yeti stereo microphone. I can also set my output. Once I got that, I click OK. Now if we come back, click Record. This is a voiceover, and this is a voiceover. You can pause it like that by clicking this little pause button. Unpause it just to keep going. I'm gonna pause it. I'm gonna click the stop button. I'm gonna click where I need to listen. I can listen to it. This is a voiceover and this is a voiceover. That sounds pretty good uh, in and of itself. The first thing I like to do after every time I record is I like to clean up any background noise. There's not much happening here. Like you can see how tiny this is. But I go to a spot where I'm not talking. Capture that by clicking shift. P. And it says this is going to be captured as a noise print. I say okay. And then I'm going to do command or control A. And that's going to just select all the audio. And then I'm going to do command or control shift P all at the same time. It's going to bring up noise reduction effect. And I can see this is the noise reduction I'm seeing it's right here. It's just this little fuzzy stuff. It's the background noise. Click apply. And what it does is when I capture the noise print, it said, hey, this isn't my voice. This is just background noise. Remove it. And then I applied the effect that says it's removed. So now if we listen to this part, it's complete silence. So it'll be complete silence now when I'm not talking. Next thing you want to do is make this audio sound even better. And before I go and just apply a bunch of effects on there, I want to save this process, basically write a script or create a macro. So I never have to do it again. Make sure all of your audio is selected, then click start recording favorite. Click OK. There are four effects we're gonna record. The Paramatic Equalizer, Normalize, Dynamic Processing, and then Normalize again. Start by hovering over Effects, go to Filter and EQ, and click Paramatic Equalizer. This is just gonna add a little bit more treble, a little bit more bass to your voice, it's gonna sound awesome. Click OK. Then hover over Effects again, Amplitude and Compression, Normalize Process, set it to roughly 98.8, click Apply. Then go to Effects again, Amplitude and Compression, Dynamics Processing. Click the second dot on this line, drag it up. You wanna be roughly these ratios, then click apply. Go to effects one more time, amplitude and compression. You're gonna do normalize one more time, click okay. Then once you're done, click on favorites, stop recording favorite, give it a name like super voice. Click okay. Then go to a section that you haven't done, such so as here, click on your favorites, click on super voice, and voila. It just applied all those effects. Another thing we can do is we can save a hotkey and you're just gonna click, click this edit keyboard shortcuts. Then in the commands, click on your favorites, find, find the save you just saved, find super voice. And then I just select it. I'm gonna put a keyboard shortcut. I think it should be seven. Now, if I click seven, it's gonna add my super voice. So let's see another example of that. I'm just gonna highlight it. I'm gonna click seven. Okay, and then once you're done, with cleaning up your voice. You can just go and save it. Pick a file location that you want to save it at. And you can choose what format you want to export it. Wave is probably one of the best ones. The rest of these settings look fine to me. I'm just going to say OK. And there you have it.